What's up nerds? Today we're going to be building a 90s theme bedroom for my 1 4th scale Raphael action figure. If you were brought here from my main channel, then you know that I am a 90s nerd to the fullest. I love a lot of things, 90, nostalgic, all that kind of stuff. So I thought that if I was going to build an environment or like a home for this large action figure, I wanted to do something kind of relatable. So we decided to go with this 90s themed bedroom because I love all things 90, nostalgic, nerdy, Anything of that nature is right up my alley. And I have a lot of props for this 1 4th scale Raphael that fit into like a 90s theme or vibe. And then I built a few props myself that really inspired me to create this whole environment for him. So I decided to create a permanent installation piece in the nerd cave where Raphael will live. And it just kind of looks like he's chilling out in his bedroom. So I wanted to bring in some elements of him living in a sewer like he does in, you know, the old cartoon and stuff, but then also making it feel like a bedroom from a kid in the 90s. So we're going to be doing some brick walls, some piping on the ceiling, a bit of lights to make it lit up like a bedroom, and then just a buttload of 90s themed props all over the place. This is going to be like a jam-packed, messy bedroom. And I can't wait to show you guys how we created it. The first thing that I needed to do was to cut the XPF foam to size so that it fit inside of the shelf that I'm going to be using. And then I needed to start marking out where the bricks were going to lay exactly so that I knew how to cut them. deepen the lines for the bricks and I use a technique that I found from another youtuber drip mode his videos are awesome he does a lot of amazing dioramas he uses like a soldering iron or like a wood carving tool uh, to really cut into that foam and get the lines nice and deep and wide enough to fill in with any caulk or whatever you're going to do So we'll start off by doing a primer, which is a pretty common practice in the community, which is basically like Mod Podge and some black paint, mix those together, slab it all over the foam board, and then you know you should be good to paint with spray paints or regular acrylic paints or whatever you're going to use.
All right, so I think that the pipe system ooh, is all done. There's a few areas that are like still white in the inside. The tubes are still white, but that's okay. Um, this was basically just supposed to be like a base coat. Um, so we're gonna paint over it anyways. So I think that this should do. I don't really wanna spray it too much more. Um, so these are also dry. So now it's time to um, put on the first layer. The prime that I decided to use the system, I don't love it, but a guy that I watch does it. So I don't, I don't know, but let's go ahead and get to spraying them. So for our first layer of paint, after our primer, I did just like a um, satin, I think it was, satin spray paint um, that I picked up at the store to get my kind of like base color. To paint this, I just used some basic acrylic paint that I got from Michaels. Um, I used like a little bit of tan mixed with I think some yellow, um, kind of mix those together to create this like sandy, tannish, brownish color that I thought would look pretty good for like a cartoon brick type of visual. So I just kind of layered that on. just use some spackle, some cheap spackle that I picked up at Walmart. Um, I now know that I can get it on Amazon or at Michaels or anywhere else in much larger quantities, so I'm probably going to do that. And then I mixed in just a little bit of brown just to make it like an off-white color, like lending itself towards like sand from the beach, but not quite. We don't want stark white because it'll look weird in the bricks and just look too vibrant, too new. So I had to dirty it up just a little bit. And then once we have our color set, basically you just put down a nice slab of the spackle and then you uh, scrape it in with like any type of scraping tool, credit card, whatever. I bought a pretty cheap pack of like scraping tools um, for spackling and painting and stuff like that to fill in those bricks. And then you just take a wet cloth to wipe away the excess. So as you wipe over it, you won't be wiping anything out of the crevices, just off of the top surface.
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that build process and the final product. I am freaking in love with the way that this turned out. I didn't show me making every little prop that was made um, in this setup, but if there's anything in particular you wanna know about, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make an in-depth video on how I made that. I showed a little bit of like making the cork board, but I also had to create those shelves and you know, a bunch of other little stuff in there like the uh, Pokemon cards and the Pokemon card book and all of that stuff. So if you wanna see videos for any of those things or just wanna ask me about my process, then hit me up in the comments below. But honestly, this thing turned out way better than I could have imagined. This is my first time doing anything like this. I've never used XPF foam before. I've never used any like caulk or sealer to create, you know, this uh, brick and mortar effect that I had going on. So this is a really dope project to kind of get my feet wet into these builds. And it just looks so amazing every time I walk into the nerd cave. And even myself, even though I put it together, Every time I look at it, I find something small and different that I really enjoy about the setup. So all in all, I'm pleased. But that's going to do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, like I said, let me know in the comment section if you want to see any more in-depth builds for this project. If not, I'm going to be moving on to another project. But also let me know which part of this project was your favorite. Which little detail do you like the most? And if you're new to my channel, which I'm sure that you are because this is a new channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.